So our view is set, even though visually it shows us incorrect information here, we can see everything is set. So what we need next is a controller that is going to control our new uh, collection view. So I'm going to select my uh, scene delegate here, command N or file new file. And I'm going to create a file that is going to control my collection view controller. So let's select Coco Touch class click next and from a subclass I'm going to select UI collection view controller and give it a name of category and then it will be category collection view controller click next click create and it will create a new file here and now we can go back to our main storyboard select our category collection view and make sure you select the button here then we are going to go to our class uh, name here and we are going to say that the category collection view controller hit enter and make sure it stays there is going to control our view here that we have created so now our view has a controller which is our category collection view controller here so this file is going to control that view. But before we go any further, I want you to select the cell and make sure you select the cell itself and not any of the subviews inside. So you can always check it on the left panel here. Open the inspector here and make sure that you put an identifier here. Currently it has no identifier and we need to call this I'm going to call mine cell. You can call yours whatever you want. Just make it consistent and remember that how you call this. Because we are going to design one uh, layout of cell and we're going to reuse it for every uh, item in our category. So we are not going to design for each one separate. So this is like our blueprint here. So make sure you call it cell, hit enter and it stays there. Then. Um, we are going to create another file and this time this file is going to control our cell here because we have designed a custom cell and this is not a standard uh, by default Apple cell that uh, provided by Apple. So in case uh, we are designing a custom cell, we need a controller that is going to control our custom cell here. So while having a cell selected, you can go to the class inspector and see that right now the class is set to a default UI collection view cell. But we're going to have a custom one. So we say command N. Again, we're going to say Coco Touch class. And this time we're going to say UI collection view cell here, a subclass. And I'm going to call this category. Collection view cell, click create click enter and then we get another file here. This one is quite empty. We don't have much in it. But what is important to do is go to storyboard, select your cell again and change the name of your class that controls it into category collection view cell. Hit enter and this will stay as it is. Okay, um, what we can do is just quickly run our application and make sure everything is set correctly. And our application is running and it doesn't crash. Right now we have nothing in our collection view. That's why nothing is displayed. Uh, but we're going to work on it from our next class.